Hey y'all, this is Deb and I am back with my haul. So, recap. I had a ball. As you can tell from the video, I had a ball. Everybody was so nice. This, I just, I can't explain it. Um, it was just awesome. We're still chatting about it in the Facebook group. Now, I did share with you guys the lines, which if you look at it, it's kind of comical because the lines were not long at all. And then the excitement of it all, I just had to share that with you because it's really kind of ironic that I was expecting lines wrapped around the building. And I didn't see that at all at any point in time throughout the day. Because even after I got in, I left back out. So it was like a constant flow. Like, you know, people didn't all come at once. They all came throughout the day. It was a steady flow of people. It wasn't as crowded as I thought it was going to be. I had a ball. I enjoyed meeting everyone. I People were just like I thought they would be, but maybe 10 times nicer in person. Uh, I think the highlight of it was the meet and greet for me, meeting everyone, uh, finally meeting African Hair God and Mahogany Knots. I had a wonderful time. Uh, I am going to go back next year because I didn't really get to shop like I wanted to. And what I mean by that, I didn't get to go to every vendor and just check out what they had. You know, I had some spots I wanted to hit, but I just got caught up with running my mouth and seeing everybody in the show that I didn't see at the meeting. And again, I want to send a shout out to Miss Clover CT and thank her so much for her hospitality. That was just so awesome of her to do that for us. Now, what you all have been waiting for, my haul. First, what I purchased from the meeting greet, of course, is my Holy Grail Spritzer Refresher Spray from Kinky Cashmere. Got two bottles of those. And you know I love this leave-in. My all-in-one leave-in conditioner from Kinky Cashmere. I love this stuff. Yeah, I don't sleep on these two products. I'm just saying. You know, you might want to try them out. I think her price was two for 21 so I, I re-upped on those because I'm down to one bottle of conditioner and uh, one spritzer, one refresher. And that was what I bought from the meeting group. When I got into the hair show, I was waiting on Beautiful Soul because we were supposed to shop together and I was hanging out with Miss Natural Life. We were shopping together. I didn't buy anything and then Beautiful Soul called and said she left her ticket at home. So... I don't know why I thought they were going to run out of stuff. So the first place that I hit, the first thing that I bought, because it was the first booth that I saw, was Entwine. I bought this uh, cute little setup that they had, this package that they had going on, and their hydrated buttercream, this their moisturizer, and this large size of their uh, cream gel styler. It has the Aphrodisia 9 leave-in, argan oil, and two sample sizes of their uh, Click, which is their shampoo and conditioner. I bought this, and this was $45. I thought I got a really good deal because the hydrated buttercream is $28. If I'm saying it wrong, I'll scroll the name right here. It's $28 on the site by itself. So right there, I was already ahead. And with that purchase, they are coming out with a deep conditioner. So we got to preview it before it comes out. So you got a packet which eat, which you purchased. The girl was kind enough to give me two. So I will be trying that. So once I left that, I went over to Mr. Bill Nuvo. He had three for 25. Now I haven't done a review on his products, but I'm going to, I'm sorry, I, I need to do a review because I want you all to know I love his deep conditioner. So I bought two of the creamy castor custard, his deep conditioner. And I bought one of the Cocoa Caster Pudding. I've done twist outs with this uh, before. So I'm definitely going to be using these and um, giving you all some reviews on that. So I went from there to Camille Rose because I knew she was coming out with a new product. And I'm glad I did because when I got there, she was already out of her leaving uh, her co wash. She had a couple of co washes that I wanted to try. She didn't have them. But. This was there, and this is this, this new oil that she just recently came out with. I don't even know if it's in the stores, and it's the Cocoa Nims and Honey Ultimate Growth Serum. And it can be used for a uh, 
uh, use for oil rinses and I'm gonna get into it because I use oils for my hot oils but they're kind of heavy so when I rinse them out they kind of leave like a coating and I don't want that coating I want moisturized hair not coated with oil so I want to try this I only bought one all of her products were ten dollars and her hair uh, her body butters were five so I wasn't in there for body butters but I did get her coconut water leave-in hair treatment that's her new line I bought the uh, leave-in conditioner and we had a little debate about this because someone said this was a deep conditioner but it says it's a concentrated rinse out conditioner so I bought the uh, hair treatment so this is supposed to be a rinse out conditioner so I bought those two things from Camille Rose so I have to show you this because I kept it and it's the bag that she was giving her products in and let me show you why I kept it look at the detail you see the inside of the bag y'all that's a keeper I don't know I'll keep it around for something but anyway let me keep moving then I did get some uh, Jamaican black castor oil and they had both the tropical aisles which I did not make it over there to that booth and the sunny aisle uh, and they had the better deal from what I understand they had three for 20 so this is the eight ounce size here that I got for $20 for three I bought the Jamaican um, lavender scent the rosemary I like lavender and rosemary and also the extra dark now she gave me two vials, which I thought was really cool. They were giving these away with your purchase and I asked for an extra one because she said the extra dark can be used on your eyebrows and your eyelashes to grow that hair back. So y'all, we're gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna start using it on my eyebrows because over the years my eyebrows have thinned out. I don't know if any of you all have experienced that and I'm going to test that to see. But I did get that and um, where else did I go? Oh, I went to this place, this is cool. I went to the Happy Root. And I bought, it's called the Honey Pot. And it, the name of the company is Happy Root. And it's keeping happy pots happy one bottle at a time. And it's a feminine wash. And I bought the lavender. Y'all can see that. And uh, I tried it. And it's, y'all, I like this. I like this. So, um, hmm. It's the, it claims to be free from ingredients that you cannot pronounce. So, here are the ingredients on the back, which are a lot. I guess you can pronounce these. Let's see if my camera's going to zoom in so you can see that. And it's really quite a lot. So, I don't know about all that, but the instructions on how to use it is on here. I've tried it. I will come back with a review. Now, I did good. I got only one other thing, and this was from um, this company called Be Spoiled. And... I had, they had tried some hand salt scrub on me and I was going to walk around and see how that felt. And they used uh, their bath lather on just cool and curly. And we had walked around and we were getting ready to leave. And she showed me how soft she was. Talking. Oh my God, look how soft my hands are. And I was like, they really are. I want to go back and get that. So we did. We went back to be spoiled and I got the bath lather. And yeah, this stuff smells amazing okay i've used it already but i want y'all to see this see the consistency of it now when i used it the first time i used it at the hotel and uh just cool and curly texted me and asked me how did i like it i told her i didn't know i thought maybe i was using it wrong and she indicated that it doesn't foam up i was like oh goodness because i thought i had done something wrong yeah when i tell you i was smelling good oh my gosh so i came behind it with the bath oil they have a uh a body oil and I got the fragrance crush on you and the body oil. Now I haven't used this much, a little spilled and shipping, but uh you don't need a lot. You just put it on and just let your body air dry. And when I tell you my body stayed moisturized all day long, I was just who would have thought it? You know, it's not your typical bar soap, but it has a fragrance. I mean, y'all, I'm look at me, I'm putting it up to the camera like you can smell it. When I tell you this stuff smells good, have I ever steed y'all wrong? This is some good stuff. I'm going to do a review. Uh, I'll put the link to the shop down there. She had stopped making that, so that's not on her website right now. So I'm going to give her a call tomorrow and find out uh, about that. And also, this is a exfoli ex exfoliating cupcake. So it smells 
I mean, this is like, oh my God. So I don't know how to use this. So I'm gonna call her to make sure that I use it right. Cause I don't know if I just start using it or peel off the cupcake, but I wanna find out the correct way to use that. So that is what all I got from the hair show. That's all I got from the hair show. So the, uh, that was it. That was all, That's, I think I did good. I stayed within my budget. Now, I went to the um, brunch, the second annual uh, Natural Hair Freedom Brunch. And if you all ever go to the hair show, if you don't know about this event, you need to put that into your schedule of events to try. That was so amazing. They had vendors. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. I kind of heard they had vendors. I didn't think I would buy anything, but I did. I did. I bought some earrings from Cute as a Button. I'm going to put a picture of them right here. And I tried a cupcake from this. I didn't need it. But I can't. I'm a, I have a weakness for red velvet cupcakes. And that was all that I bought. I did not buy anything from those vendors that were there. Not because I didn't want to, but I was on the way home and I had reached my limit on products so i did buy those cute as a button I, don't, I forgot how much they were i'll put that in the about box that was an accessory but i did in a grab bag i got uh some samples and then i ended up getting some um conditioner and moisturizing mist from uh fca naturals these two bonus samples and then i also got some lemongrass leave-in conditioner allocate she had a little booth there and some nothing but pure, pure, pure nothing but pure pudding and the blue magic argan oil uh, with vitamin E so also in the bag was a 10% coupon code from Allocate Naturals I don't know if y'all can see that but I'll put that down in the about box and share that with you guys um, I don't know what the deadline is. Yeah, it ends on May 10th. So I'm going to hurry up and get that up in case y'all want to get anything from her. And then there was this um, curlcollection.com advertising for the curl collection where you get full-size products for curly hair delivered bi-monthly to your door. We're going to have to talk about boxes, y'all. So that is what I got in my regular bag. But I also bought a VIP ticket. And I got some full-size products from the sponsor of that particular brunch, which was Main Element Love. Now, I had seen Main Element Love around, but I hadn't tried any of the products. And um, I don't know why. See, y'all say I'm a product junkie, but I don't try everything out there. But I did get a full-size of the uh, Aloe Conditioner, the Citrus Fusion Scent. I received the Herbal Shampoo Bar. That's two ounces. Also, her um, Shea Smoothie. That's four ounces. And also, her um, Herbal Scalp Oil. So, also, she had some cards in here. And I just thought this was the cutest thing. I don't know if y'all would like to see this. And she has on the back uh, things about her uh, company on there. So then I got there and Just Cool and Curly had purchased. She was telling me Just Cool and Curly had like a phenomenal twist out at the meet and greet. I don't know if I got a picture of her at the meet and greet. I'm going to try to find one and show you what her twist out looked like. And she was telling me about this butter that she used by, it looks like this is Shea. Shea. Velour, Shea Velour, Shea Velour. I might be saying it wrong. I put the name right here. And when I got there, she was telling me about this company and she bought me some Jehovah Soy Aloe Whip Butter. I'd never tried it before. And I was like, thank you. Because her twist out was bomb. This smells so good. Let me show you the consistency. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because this was full to the top. If you can see that. I did the twist out that I'm rocking right now with this. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I am going to do a full review on this product as well as all of the other products that I've shown you in my haul. I just want you guys to know I had a phenomenal time and that uh, yeah, I'm going to do it again next year. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my hair experience. 
the it's all about the curls edition as well as my recap and my haul so until my next video i want to thank you guys for watching and as always you guys be blessed bye bye